One man, one mission to rid the world of chronic anxiety once and for all. The Anxiety Guy, Dennis Simsek, shares his personal transformation from living a life filled with overwhelming worry to becoming a full-fledged positivity machine. A leading authority in generalized anxiety, Dennis gets to the truth of your mental health challenges and sets you on a path to transforming each and every area of your life. Here he is, the one and only, The Anxiety Guy. Hi everyone, welcome to the Anxiety Guy podcast. I'm Dennis Simsek and this is episode number one. We have our Facebook channel, we have our Tumblr channel, we have an incredible YouTube channel, and we have a number of people working in the Anxiety Guy team uh, to help you out and answer any questions you want from www.anxietyexit.com. Thank you so much for joining us here. And you know, it's been... It's been a long time coming, this podcast. I've written over 500, uh, yeah, between 500 and 800 articles. Uh, If anybody knows about myself, Dennis Simsek, uh, the anxiety guy in the past. And, you know, to be honest with you, I just came to a point where I realized people don't want to sit and read every single day. You know, they're so caught up in their state. Um, And I'm talking about the anxious folks out there, the people that are suffering from daily stress, health anxiety, you know, it's much, much easier to grab a podcast episode and download it and, and take it with you, say on your way to work or whatever it is. And that's why I made this podcast, you know, I came from a very very athletic background um my dad basically brought me up as a tennis player i played professional tennis for a good six seven years and during that time you know pretty recent actually uh, about 10 years ago is when my general anxiety and and performance anxiety on the tennis court started to take over my life and i went to numerous doctors, professionals, and looking for answers all the time about what the heck was going on. Why was I feeling the way I was? Why wasn't I able to interact with people? Why wasn't I able to think clearly? You know, what were these dizzy sensations that I was going through? I had so many questions and very little real answers. And so, Once I started to do some investigation, some research, you know, I I realized that I'm not alone when it comes to anxiety, especially health anxiety, something called hypochondria, where so many people are dealing with this. But, you know, all I ever saw was was Facebook groups, um, Google Plus groups, people comforting each other, you know, telling each other that it's going to be all right sharing pictures and so forth, you know, all that stuff's really good and cozy, but in the end, it, it's, not, it's not helping, you know, you get a solution to your problem. And the solution that I was looking for was one that involved ridding myself of this person that I was, ridding myself of this critical-minded person um, that just wouldn't leave me alone. You know, I feared everything. I feared the work environment. I feared uh, getting up in the morning. I couldn't wait. When I woke up in the morning, I basically said, oh, I cannot wait till nighttime comes so that I can get back to sleep again. Because that was the only time I felt relaxed, fearless, and, and basically just being unconscious. Um, as, as scary as that sounds and how you know frightening as that sounds. If, of course, if there's anybody else listening to this podcast that isn't going through anxiety, you're going to get a good glimpse of what life is like, Um, not only for a professional athlete dealing with it. I know there's people out there like uh, someone named Marty Fish, who's a professional uh, tennis player, who as well is almost, I think he's retired or close to retiring in tennis. You know, this guy has an amazing amount of talent, tons of talent. And on any given day, he can match um, the world's best as far as Nadal goes and Djokovic and Fedders. You know, he can match anybody on any given day. And it's sad that this guy, you know, because of the, the performance anxiety, the, the anxiety he's putting himself under when he's on the tennis court, 
he he's almost at a time where he's retiring at the prime of his career so it's athletes it's professional athletes it's amateur athletes but it's also non-athletes you know people that we see every single day that we we basically walk by that may be dealing with this stuff and and i'm here to share my inspirational story of overcoming generalized anxiety health anxiety panic attacks uh, in a matter of three months after suffering for about six six and a half years and um, you know there I have my book of course me versus myself on and off the court and that's doing fantastic it's inspiring a lot of people it's teaching a lot of people things and you know I, I really want you guys to question everything I say and why do I say that because this is all coming from somebody who's you know been there been in those anxious shoes and has overcome it you know my way um, may not work for everybody I'm gonna be honest with you but my way has worked for a lot of people so you know over 7,000 people worldwide have subscribed to my youtube channel you know, uh, has, has gotten the program, has has mingled with myself. And we've been able to come up with solutions for people. You know, the one thing that, um, that I'm very skeptical of is a one-size-fits-all uh, solution. And you see that when you go to doctors these days, you know, and, and, and somebody is, you know, the first thing they have is a notepad in front of them and, uh, and, and a subscription to uh, add a van, let's say, or something like that. And you feel great for a little while, but you know, after after some time, what happens? Uh, your body starts getting used to the dose, right? Uh, you're not feeling as relaxed as you were in the beginning, um, when in fact you were like, "Oh man, this could be the solution I was looking for," you know, the whole time. And uh, and what happens is that you have to up your dose of that anti-anxiety medication. And, you know, I'm not a big fan of antidepressants either. Putting my faith in a pill, you know, just doesn't work for me. And I hope it doesn't work for you. Um, but, you know, this, this podcast, the Anxiety Guy podcast, is all about getting to the truth. You know, no sugarcoating. Um, no more of this, you know, uh, comforting feeling that you get every single day. You know, it's time to tackle the problem. It's time to tackle the problem at its root. You know, right at its root. You know, where did it start? Where has it gotten you? And where do you want to get to in your life? That, that's what I'm about. And that's what this podcast is about. And, um, you know, we're going to be dealing with not only the the nines, the eights out of tens when it comes to the anxiety levels, but we're also going to be dealing with, you know, the twos and the threes during, you know, just daily stressors. And um, and it's going to be a very inspiring, inspiring channel uh podcast channel so i'm really happy that you guys are here and um you know people ask me why why did i get back into it you know and uh you know if you do know myself personally i you know i had a a falling out there for a bit i stopped making videos i stopped putting content out and uh, the facebook page is just getting going now but um, people ask me why, why did I come back? And, you know, I, it was funny because in Vancouver here, that's where we're from and my family and we live here. And, um, you know, I was walking down the street in uh, Pacific Center there, I believe it was uh, Nordstrom, the store, and just going to meet someone for dinner and just kind of, just going to talk with them. And, um, and someone goes, in the you know behind about two or three meters away from me and this person goes hey and i turn around and i go yes and she goes aren't you the anxiety guy and she goes yeah you're the anxiety guy you're the guy that's you know help help me overcome my anxiety um through your youtube videos and it was shocking you know i'll be honest with you it was it was the first time i've ever experienced that i've ever been through that and um and you know i right away i said you know what let's let's find let's find out a bit more about this person so she explains to me what she goes through on a daily basis what she went through in the past uh, with general anxiety going to work 
and thinking about all the the fearful outcomes of a situation um, and she was able to get to the point uh, where she was basically moving with her fears rather than fighting against it and and uh, and she was able to train herself on a daily basis to to not look at her fear as a you know as a uh, this is gonna you know and you know what are people gonna think about me you know is this a heart attack if it's a symptom of anxiety is it this is it that you know jumping to conclusions right away so instead of going in that direction she basically trained herself to move with her anxiety and she looked at it as a kind of a a funny um, cartoon character if you will and she had conversations with herself in her mind of course and and you know she got to the point where she was able to be in complete control over her anxiety levels and over her um, thinking process and once she was able to get to a point where she could you know move with her fears after a while she just completely uh, became disinterested in her symptoms of her thoughts that might lead to a you know to a catastrophe if you will and um, and she basically got to the point where she was so confident she forgot about her anxiety and and after that she was telling me that um, you know her critical thinking and her fearful thinking turned into um, more of her true voice so her higher self if you will you know and, and then at that point she was able to do things like meditating um, yoga and all these things that are quite helpful uh, for people that are around the f maybe one to six range of, of stress and anxiety um, as you probably already know how difficult it is to meditate if uh, if you're in your eight nine ten you know let alone you know sitting alone by yourself for a minute or two you know meditating is extremely difficult of course do it if you can but you know we're talking about people who are extremely anxious here so that was a that was my my motivation <clears throat> this person comes in and, and and tells me that and all of a sudden i realized that you know i've got a lot to share just like you do you know y you you're a unique unique human being on this planet and you have these gifts and you have so much to share with the world and y you're an inspiring person but unfortunately at the moment it's kind of being masked it's kind of being hidden um, due to this person that you, you think you are you think you are anxiety you know you wake up in the morning and the first thing that comes to your mind is uh, oh boy here we go again you know and uh, and you become fearful about everything throughout your day the funny enough thing for me is you know if we take for example let's take alcohol for example um, uh, at some point, yeah, at the peak of my my health anxiety, um, I, I remember I couldn't even have a sip or two when it came to let's say a beer or a glass of wine, and you know it wasn't so much the alcohol affecting me as much as it was the, um, the my mind telling me what would happen if I took the path of uh, of having a drink or two. And of course, that path was panic attacks the next morning, health anxiety, maybe calling the ambulance and, and going through that whole process again. So, you know, it's 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 really a anxiety can come to you in many different faces. And through this podcast, I'm going to be explaining, you know, what what I did in those situations to get through it um, and what you can do um, in your own life to overcome your own struggles. And that's what this is about. It's about solutions. It's about inspiration. It's about motivation. But none of those things are going to mean anything if there's no action being taken. You know, stepping out of your comfort zone for just a few minutes a day um, and training yourself in the morning, in the afternoon, you know, in the evening to uh, to get to a point where you want to get to, you know, and, and live the life that you want to live again. So, you know, that's what this podcast is about. And, and I'm extremely 
grateful and happy that you can join me and this is the first episode so I wanted to take a few minutes there to just explain you know why I came back and who I am and so on and uh, in the next couple episodes we'll slowly build up to to different solutions and um, and and get to that point where you know this episode this podcast is really making a big contribution towards lessening your anxiety levels and that's what I want to get to that's that's the goal of this and um, eventually you know hopefully we're going to get people calling in and and really make this a a fun and and solution-based show and that's what I want to do with this you know it's not about just feeding you information okay go and and uh, go and do it you know no it's about you know um, it's about inspiring you it's about uh, showing you what your true self is really like and, and 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 hopefully my story as well as the many other people that I'll be interviewing and and helping out at the same time will inspire you to to step out of that um, comfort zone that you may be feeling right now and um, and I hope that you guys will subscribe to the iTunes when it does come out um, of this podcast if you want to ask any questions, you know, head over to anxietyexit.com. I know that website is almost done. And of course, of course, number one is the Facebook page. Look up the Anxiety Guy on Facebook. And, and you know, I'm sharing a ton of great content there. Everything, you know, that I've been through and, and, and a lot of motivational quotes in the morning to get you going there. And... I look forward to getting to know each and every one of you through one of those mediums. So I'll talk to you guys really soon. Take care. Signing off, The Anxiety Guy, Dennis Simsek. I look forward to seeing you in episode two. Take care, guys. (laughs) 